Hi guys, it's Organic Kinani. Today we're making Israeli couscous salad. We have to add the Israeli couscous. When you add the Israeli couscous, you want to let it simmer. Hi, so now that we have our Israeli couscous cooking, we're going to make the dressing. Two tablespoons of Goya extra virgin olive oil. I like Goya. Juice of one lemon, it's right here. One tablespoon of whole grain mustard next. I'm using Dijon mustard, because honestly this is the only kind of mustard that I could find whole grain in the store. I get a lot of these like special ingredients from Milam, so they have really good, um, they have really good things in there. So. One tablespoon of this. Capers. One tablespoon of capers. So as you drain them in this little pot, you want to make sure that you um, rinse them off with some cold water. Uh, stir it up. Make sure all the ingredients get in there. This dressing smells really good. Have our dressing done we have the couscous cooked so now all we have to do is add the blueberries and the strawberries and all of those other delicious things that's going to really make the salad pop with explosion so let's get to that so you want to add one cup of blueberries to your salad one cup of blueberries Half a cup of toasted pecans, as well, half a cup of that. I'm putting a third of a cup of strawberries, a quarter of a cup of fresh parsley, make sure it's fresh, remember fresh ingredients, always make the food just taste so much more amazing than using ingredients it's been that's not so fresh one cup of fresh greens two cups of fresh greens stir that up look at how good that looks already you got the couscous on the bottom you see little uh hints of the of the blueberry and the strawberry and the greens and the parsley make sure all the couscous from the bottom gets mixed in there somehow you don't want any you don't want like a layer of one thing in particular so just you remember that no layers of just one thing none so this is either an appetizer or a lunch or it can even be a dinner it's like it's definitely going to fill you up or like get you there you just don't want like enough you're gonna use you don't you just don't want a lot if you're going to use it as an appetizer but this is amazing. And so now, you want to add the dressing that we made before? You want to add this? So now what we want to do is pour our dressing onto the salad that we just made. Get all those wonderful and delicious flavors going. Remember, you don't want a layer of one, just one thing, so you want to make sure that even the greens are are mixed in really well. Okay, and so there we go, and it looks amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to try it. Oh. <gasps> wait, there's more. I now for the vegetarians out there. Nutritional yeast is oftentimes in vegan cooking. 
a replacement for like cheese. So if you don't want to go with the nutritional yeast and you want like an actual cheese product, um, you know, use some of your grated cheese. Uh, and that would work just fine. One teaspoon, nutritional yeast. And now, now, let's try it, right? Mm. So, thank you guys. Thank you for visiting my organic Kanana YouTube channel.